Hello, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. Today we have some friends with us. Um, I thought it would be fun to do a reading about how we are all mad here, which we kind of are, um, but that's okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a song reference. Um, it's all good, um, but I, w I thought it would be neat to, to see how we are mad and, and how the, how we can help ourselves if we are dealing with things in that particular state of madness. So to represent the various, three various states of madness um, that we may all be subject to, I have three friends. Uh, we have the White Rabbit, and we have the Cheshire Cat, and we have the Mad Hatter. So please look at them and, and feel which one of them is speaking to you and saying, I have a message for you. And I will put the timestamps in the description and I will see you at the reading that you are drawn to. See you in a bit. Bye. Hello, White Rabbit people. <laughs> okay, so for the White Rabbit people, these are the people who are mad in the way that when things are going crazy, they just want to cover all the bases, they want to run around and they keep, they wear themselves out running around trying to make sure that everything is in place and that they are not late and they're always worried that they're missing something and it's just like ah so i'm gonna move the white rabbit up here and let's see what the runes have to say about this particular state of mind that is going to be yes that is going to help you maybe not have to do that anymore Okay, so I'm throwing down what's the central issue, what led up to that, what is helping, what isn't helping, and what your next step is going to be. So your central issue, um, which makes perfect sense for our white rabbit friend here, is Nauthies. Nauthies is the rune of need. Um, it really says, you know, tend your needs immediately, right now, tend your needs. And because of, you know, because you're running around, you're going, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Um, this is sort of very apt. <laughs> It's not sort of very apt, it's very apt. So your central issue is, I feel like I always have needs that I have to tend like immediately. And what led up to this is we have manas reversed. Manas is the rune of humanity and reversed, it says to me that you've sort of got to the point where you feel like you have to rely on yourself and yourself alone. Um, that you feel you can't trust anybody else to take care of, uh, of you or your needs or to help at all. So you are always in a state of like, ah, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Um, of course, the White Rabbit, I mean, if you want to be literary about it, he did have servants and he was always screaming at them. So, <laughs> so this isn't you so much, but it's sort of like you don't, I mean, okay, he didn't trust anybody to do the right thing anyway, so, okay, enough literary. You've come from a place where you really haven't felt like you could rely on anybody but yourself. Now, what helps here in this part where you're, you're sort of like, I have to tend my needs all the time which you should be doing, but you're like frantic about it. What helps here is we have Pertho. Pertho is the rune of the lot box. It has to do with uh, fate and it has to do with surprises, but it's it's upright. So it's, it's sort of gonna be like not bad surprises, but it's like letting things happen. And I think that's what your, uh, the runes are saying will help you is honestly, let things happen. Try not to control everything you know, control what you can, but don't panic over the things that you can't control and let some things happen and it, some of it will surprise you. It will surprise you that it's going to come up and it'll be like your lucky day. So sometimes you don't have to, like, you might feel like you don't have to control any, like, you don't have to control everything. You don't have to wear yourself out. Now what doesn't help is we have Hagalaz. Hagalaz is the rune of the hailstorm. It has to do with the uncontrolled uncontrollables, chaos, things like that and that's always going to drag you down is you're you know you're going to whether you're worried about it or whether it's things that actually happen you're feeling like as soon as something happens that was unexpected and as soon as things are happening that are out of your control you immediately like clench up and you want to like control 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 and run around panicking it's like I'm late I'm late if that starts to be the case, bring yourself back up to here to where, you know, you, even if you're just reminding yourself of times when you weren't in full control of a situation and things worked out okay anyway. And that will actually help you deal with the worry about and also things that are happening that are surprising you and that are out of your control. And it'll give you a little more patience about that. 
Now your next step on the path line, which hopefully will be easier come by once you sort of start allowing things to happen, is Uru's reverse. Now Uru's is the rune of health and um, strength, and reversed it has to do with inner strength. And this is actually how you're going to develop your inner strength, because you won't be running around panicking so much anymore. You won't be, you know, frantic so much because you will have developed some inner strength from just letting things happen and seeing that not everything needs to be absolutely controlled. So that is your reading from the White Rabbit. I will see you again next time. Bye! Hello Cheshire Cat people! So as far as being mad, um, your take on things is when things start to get a little bit crazy, you just get the heck out of the way. You get up, you try to get above it, um, but this will this leaves you a bit out of play in things and it leaves you a little bit aloof. So let's see how we can help you with that. Uh, let's see the message that the Cheshire Cat has to give about this strategy. Ooh, okay. So I'm laying down a central issue what led up to it, what helps, what doesn't help, and what your next step on the path is going to be. Hmm. Okay. So your central issue here and the reason that you tend to climb a tree rather than to face issues is it's just the challenge issue of it. It's, it th things come up and you just feel like, nope, I am not facing this challenge. <laughs> this is three saws, it's the rune of challenges, it's the thorn, it's the giant, it's the gateway. It is upright, so it means that the, the gateway is open, you can pass right through it, and it's more of a psychological thing than not that it, that is keeping you up. Now, what led up to this, we have Uru's reversed. Uru's is the rune of strength and health. Reversed, it usually has to do with inner strength, and it does, but it's sort of to a level of you you want to maintain this inner strength you want to keep you know your your strength your, your inner strength is like i don't even want anything to touch it i'm just going to climb up out of the way and not deal with things and just basically maintain what i have it also has to do with in the past you have been knocked off your feet and you never want to have that happen again but this is life so when you see a challenge instead of going up a tree what can you do so Part of what's going to help you is we have Hagalaz, that's the rune of the hailstorm, and it has to do with chaos and the uncontrolled uncontrollables, but also tapping into uh, natural forces, natural energies. And it's, it's sort of saying, this is life, you know, life is by nature chaotic and we're gonna, things are going to happen. And you can't avoid all of it. You, I mean, you can try, but you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to pass through the store to an, anything good that might be on the other side of it. So if you embrace, if you, you know, connect in with the natural forces, if you embrace this, you'll be able to get over that wall. You'll be able to go, go through that gate. And you're just like, okay, well, you know what? This is life. And I'm not going to live it if I'm stuck up in a tree. So what doesn't help is we have... Uh, Avaz. Avaz is the rune of the horse, and it has to do with horse, uh, has to do with horse, has to do with spirit, and it has to do with movement, and it is reversed on the lower line, which is basically saying what we were just saying. Um, not moving doesn't help you. If you're just going to see a challenge and just freeze or go up a tree and not move, that's not going to help you. You're never going to get through this gateway. So bring yourself back up to the point where you're going to be like, you know what, this is going to be a little bit uncomfortable, I'm going to get wet, I'm going to get blown around, I'll probably get, you know, buffeted by hail, maybe, maybe, but I'm going to be part of the world, I'm going to be part of things, and I'm going to be part of, I am a natural, I am a natural force as well, so connect with that embrace the fact that there is chaos in life and you're going to pass through this gateway. And what's on the other side? You're going to love this. This is Othala. It's the homeland rune. You pass through here and you'll be home. So, you know, you think you're protecting yourself here, but you'd be even better off if you went through this challenge and saw that you could do that and you'll find yourself in a much more stable and home-like state than you were before. So that is your message from the Cheshire Cat. I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye. Hello, Mad Hatter people. Okay, so the madness of the Mad Hatter um, 
shows us about is that when things are really weird and things are going wrong, he just basically pretends nothing is wrong and just carries on at, at his normal speed <laughs> as though nothing was wrong when everything is wrong. It's like that this is fine cartoon with the dog in the fire. <laughs> That's basically what he does. So let's move him over here and see what message he has for you that might help you deal with things slightly more healthily than he does. Okay. Alrighty. Sorry, I'm laying down what your central issue is, what's going to help, what isn't going to help, what your next step on the path is going to be. What led up to it, what helps, what it doesn't, what your next step is. So your central issue here is Kaunas. Kaunas is the rune of fire. It's something that starts small like a little ember and it expands out. So this is basically where it's talking about you see something is wrong but you don't address it, you just let it, you know, just you ignore it and things will get out of hand basically because they, they aren't being addressed. Um, what's led up to this is you've had needs that you have been ignoring. Again, this is the same thing. This is basically the this is fine dog and <laughs> the Mad Hatter at the part at the tea party where he's stuck um, and instead of addressing this he just ignores it and he goes on and so he's had these needs for you've had these needs for quite some time and you've just ignored them and now it's a problem that is like things are on fire <laughs> so how can we help with this well one we have Fehu. Fehu is the rune of wealth and worth, cattle basically. Um, it's your living wealth. So take care of that. Whatever it is that makes you feel worthy, tend that. Look to it and make sure that that is healthy and well. Um, your various, you know, the various things in your life that help you feel rich and healthy and well, make sure that they are tended and that will help you deal with the fire that you are currently sitting in. What doesn't help is we have Manas reversed. Manas is the rune of humanity. Reversed, it tends to do with, well, first of all, you're worried about your place in humanity. So it's sort of like you're worried about rocking the boat by saying, oh my gosh, I have problems, I have needs, I need to deal with them. Instead, you're just going along the way that you were as though nothing was wrong when everything is wrong. So and it's because you're worried about what other people will say basically you're worried that you won't be accepted into humanity if you can't handle your corner of it but everybody has needs everybody has things they have to deal with you are worthy of this um, moment of attention you are you are worried worthy of the attention that it's going to take to deal with this fire and what will happen if you actually do is you're going to get a lot more out of life. Um, this is Yura, it's the rune of the harvest, it's the rune of time. It's really saying that it's like once you actually acknowledge your own worth and tend what needs to be tended to make sure that you are okay and that this fire is out, um, you will be able to enjoy the fruits of your labors. You'll actually be able to enjoy life again, which is definitely good advice from the Mad Hatter. I hope it was helpful and comforting, and I will see you again next time. Bye!